Hi everyone, um, it's Melissa. I just wanted to come on and share a dream that the Lord had given me um, this past week about New York City. Um, in the dream, my husband and I had decided that we were going to vacation in New York City for a week. And so in the dream, we were staying um, in a hotel. And in the hotel, uh, it was more inland. It wasn't really on the coast at all. But uh, at our hotel, um, on the outside of the building, there was a, like a restaurant or a cafe. And in the dream, it was, it was evening. And my husband and I were outside and we were enjoying a very nice dinner together. And there were a lot of people sitting around us doing the same thing, just kind of eating, drinking, you know, enjoying talking to their friends, their loved ones that were sitting with them. Um, but as we were sitting there and we were finishing our dinner, we all of a sudden started hearing sirens going off in the city of New York. And the sirens were evacuation sirens. And my husband looked at me and he goes, Melissa, he goes, we, we need to go get our things and, and get out of the city. He goes, we need to, to, to go home. And I said, yeah, I said, I am in complete agreement. I said, we need to leave. Um, now, as we were going back into our hotel, um, I did look around at the skies and everything looked normal. It looked like a nice, normal evening. There really wasn't, didn't look stormy, anything like that. So, um, but we did leave. Um, so after that, portion of the dream then, um, God showed me a very large tsunami coming into New York City. Now, the tsunami was so large that it completely um, put New York City, the coastal part of it, was completely underwater. Now, in the dream, God, God took me down underneath the water and even the tallest of buildings were covered by at least 20, 20 feet of water or so, or maybe even a little bit more. Um, I, I also had asked the Lord because when we were sitting um, outside eating dinner, um, people weren't getting up from their tables. They weren't even, um, you know, wanting to leave. And I asked God, I said, God, I said, why aren't people um, evacuating? Why aren't they packing and, and, and getting out of here? And the Lord said to me, he goes, Melissa, it's because they love rich, their riches more than they love me. They love their money, their high-rise apartments, homes more than they love me. And so I just kind of... Uh, felt very sad in my spirit, and I uh, immediately after the dream was over, um, I did release it on Facebook, and I, I did share it with, with people, um, but God wanted me to release it because I feel like he wants that warning to go out to New York City, and anybody who lives there now, if you can move out of New York or relocate um, I really feel like that was why God wanted me to do the video is because he he wants you to to save yourself if you can. Now, as I was reading the word of God, God took me to Revelation 18 and uh, actually the end of Revelation 17 um, regarding my dream because I had asked him. Um, Lord, is, is this in the Bible or, you know, and so he led me here and I'm just going to read it to you. But, uh, the end of chap or the end of chapter 17, uh, verse 15, it says, then the angel said to me, the waters you saw where the prostitute sits are people's multitudes, nations, and languages. The beast and the tin horns you saw will hate the prostitute. They will bring her to ruin and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish his purpose by agreeing to give the beast their power to rule. Until God's words are fulfilled, the woman you saw in the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. 
Now, pertaining to this 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 chapter, I have always um, heard that uh, the great prostitute or the woman um, that that you saw in the great city is actually the Bible is talking about the Statue of Liberty. Um, if you guys have any other comments to make about that or any more rev revelation, please leave me a comment because I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, okay, I'm going to go forward into reading uh, the chapter 18 of Revelation. It says, After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a home for demons and a haunt for every evil spirit, a haunt for every unclean and detestable bird. For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Mix her a double portion from her own cup. Give her as much torture and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart she boasts, I sit as queen. I am not a widow and I will never mourn. Therefore, in one day, her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed. And then I wanted to go ahead and skip to verse 21. It says, Then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of the large millstone and threw it into the sea and said, with such violence, the great city of Babylon will be thrown down, never to be found again. The music of the harpists and musicians, flute players and trumpeters will never be heard in you again. No workman of any trade will ever be found in you again. The sound of a millstone will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The voice of the bridegroom and bride will never be heard in you again. Your merchants were the world's great men, but your magic spell, all the nations were led astray. In her was found the blood of prophets and of the saints and all of who have been killed on the earth. So that was where God led me after the dream. Uh, again, it is a warning dream. You all know that I, I get a lot of warning dreams, and as soon as I I get them, I, I try to come on here and share those with you. But uh, anybody living in New York, if you can, you know, leave now or relocate, that would probably be in your, your best interest. Um, and for all of those of you who are listening that don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, um, ask him into your heart today. We don't have a lot of time left here. Um, the Bible says if you believe in the Lord Jesus and you confess that with your mouth and you ask forgiveness of sins, and if you believe that he died and on the third day he rose again, you will be saved. So um, I just pray that you you seek salvation today, that you ask Jesus into your heart and that he will save you from the things that are about ready to come upon the earth. Okay, uh, I will let you guys go. And of course, if you have any comments, please leave comments for me. And to all my subscribers, um, thank you for subscribing. Please share the video. Please get the warning out about New York City. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.